for us like that. BSG, y'all, blood sucking gamers. Let's start right there. That's the man right there. What's up, everybody? This is Joseph R. Wheeler III, the artist, founder, and the president of the Honest Kind Foundation. I'm here with Captain Kirk, as I like to call him. That's my main man, Kirk Clements from Philadelphia. Philadelphia is in the house. So if you're not knowing by now, this is Honest Kind's gaming content, and this is one of our number one contributors. Right now, he is the number one contributor for when we talk yeah. about games, because we know a few other folk, but this brother here is dedicated. Whenever I need Kirk, he's there. When I need therapy, and trust me, when you play games... <laughs> <laughs> when you play games and I and I have, you know, I'm a very busy man. So, you know, if I'm not working, I mean he's busy too, but this is his this is his love from what I understand. And he's dedicated. He's one of those hardcore folk who puts on, as you can see, involved with cons, puts on, you know, tournaments, all of that kind of stuff. He does the damn thing. Oh um, man, I'm a, I'm I'm still involved with all of it. And see? um we just we just actually tapped into another thing. That we're working okay. on, but it took me recently did a skateboard. Oh, oh snap! Uh, <laughs> that's nice, man. So, Queen. I mean, wood. yeah. So we've been doing these. We've been going to um. We got a deal, or we didn't get a deal. We actually got hooked up with uh Riku Yashi, which is the people that do grip tape. So we've been getting skateboard grip tape for actual skateboards. Yeah. So if you guys are looking, we've been doing a lo uh, little work with them, giving them ideas for stuff. But yeah, we've been doing all types of stuff. We've been uh, stopped up the next door. If you're looking for them, we're going to add them later. But doing that, you can get the whole thing. You know, I admit the sound is a little weird when you said that because you was moving the board. Now, what's the name of the company again? Uh, well, if you can look up Neko and Toro. Um, Neko they're and my Toro. friends that are in Dramada. We're in Dramada Retro. That was the original team in Dramada. Now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but that's why we got Toko, Neko, and Tora. Okay. You know, it's backwards a little bit, but <laughs> it's hard to see. But we've hold, been going hold, that up, hold that up again. They might be able to scan it later on. I don't know. You know, the, 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 there we go. And maybe right around there, they might be able to get it. Hopefully, they can get that. Dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sure. That's, that's nice. Cool. That makes me want to do some board connections. Do some. some hey, man, we've been just skateboarding now, just to skateboard. <laughs> We got this stuff around. Like, why wow. Not? So, as we say, very enterprising here. I mean, I'm the enterprise Captain Kirk. Yeah. I can tell y'all. So, I'll be here. I'll cool. give it to you. Yeah. We got an energy drink called Oh Pepper my Book. gosh. Wow. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> are you serious right now? Yeah. Oh, man. And this is Pepper Brew. Uh, it's Pepper all our. Brew. Yep, Pepper Brew. You can look us up on Instagram, yeah. um, online. We've been doing little shows out here. Um, they've been at the convention, so if you guys need any, so that's yeah, a whole another. That's not Andromeda. That's a whole other company. You no, nope, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> Most energy drinks contain a lot of uh, chemicals, things yeah. like taurine stuff like this. This is all organic. Uh, okay. it's, it's called Pepper Brew because the strongest thing probably to hit you, you'll notice, would be habanero. I love there it. Ain't nothing, there ain't nothing we ain't doing. <laughs> there ain't nothing we ain't doing. I keep telling people, honest kind is a lifestyle. We we are so far beyond what people knew yeah. us to be when we started, and everything that we are becoming because of everybody we know, like great folks like yourself, man, doing amazing things. Definitely, uh, fitness and health is a lifestyle. Yeah, people forget about that, that. bro. That, that's that's why. Hey, I tell people all the time in twenty twenty. That was it. It was over. I, I always had it as a part of the event. It was like I would sneak it in in pieces. You know, one of our favorite mutual favorite games is Cyberpunk 2077. And I proudly say Honest Kind of Cyberpunk Central because as a genre and as and, and particularly this game and what it is, the whole franchise of it, I love it. I hate it. I back to love it. <laughs> and the only reason I hate it is because of the technical difficulties I go through. I swear nothing has put me through more stress than this damn game <laughs> when it comes to gaming. I recently had, I told y'all, I call Kurt when I need uh, gaming therapy. Uh, okay. I, I had a, I had a breakdown, y'all. I mean, when you said, yeah, you know, you know I hate to break. And so I can't, have, I can't remember how you said it, but in so many words, you were just like, I, I hate to tell you, but yeah, they are selling, selling it to you, but you're going to have to buy the data. That's what you're going to have to buy the data in the cloud. That's why they put a price on it. Because they know the damn machine going to fail. The they know it's going to go down. They it, know. It goes, stuff goes wrong all the time. And even the stuff they, they try to say they are aware of, they can't control. And it's, and it's, I want to blame them all the time, but I can't because if it starts happening with different creative, like, like you said, not just them, it's different games, but it also could be the system. Yeah. I, I mean, to really figure that out, 
and stick out more time in your life than just restarting the system. Like it's one of those things where it's just like, yeah, yeah. I'm prepared for next time. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. They call it unforgettable. What about that bird? <laughs> He's cool. He's black. Don't keep going. Don't keep going. Who says you have to clap with the white parts of your head? Don't keep going. Really bang. This is painful, dog. Yeah, I agree, it's very painful. Going. Who are all you creepy people with them crazy blue eyes? We are called Caucasians. Come on, five, six, seven, and, and get it. And get it. And get it. All right, y'all, and we're back. So as we continue to talk about Cyberpunk 2077, we have to mention, I've already done a hype video of my reaction to it. In addition to some of my stuff that I was just talking about, I went through my vent. In my, did you watch that yet? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw the whole vent. I just see. to see some of the stuff you were talking about, to see if it is. Right. Do yeah. some of the glitching and stuff. It's this thing as well. Oh, you know it'll act perfect when you want to put it on front street. Now, it'll, it'll be running just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna do nothing wrong right now when you want to show it now what's your feelings about this interest thing because for me it's it's amazingly exciting um i'm hyped because yeah. i want to see where the story goes plus they introduced a new i want to put the term celebrity very lightly yeah. because he's more of a professional <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 yeah. nothing wrong with celebrity he is you know yeah. for me it's not i mean being an actor myself well, i feel like you know it just it's, depends it's, on I, where your head yeah. is at with that you know what i mean Look, yeah. that it, he's doing a video game. It's not. It's not like it's a. It's a CGI version. That's what I'm saying. Like I get okay. into that. But okay. because it's a CGI version of him, I think he's going to do very well. One, he doesn't just pick. They don't just pick people to no. do like a little cameo. No, this like, is I feel like I the story is going to be a lot longer. That this DLC is, is going to be a lot longer incredible. than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, because Keanu Reeves, I love him, but it's like, how do you top Keanu Reeves? He just help him. He's Bruh. all right. You're not gonna Bruh. waste him. <laughs> you're not gonna waste he just help him. No, no, nah. man. I'm like, I mean, and they know what they're doing for every element of the market. You just literally made black women and other women who never wanted to play any of these games. <laughs> they going to be like, wait, it just what? Okay, I might want to play. Well, this they game. did it with Keanu with the white ones. Now we got the black ones. We went straight right. to. <laughs> right, right. They got everybody now. I mean, straight up. Like, I mean, yeah. it, it, and even overseas with it, you know, the British element of it. I mean, just all of it. Bro. Oh yeah. Well, that was cool too. I also want to see. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting because I know a little bit about the, the Phantom Liberty story. They talked about it. They talked about V being able to change the look again. Okay. Um, certain things are just. I, I want to see how. I'm not gonna win it. No, talk about it. It's all good. That's what we're here for. Because there's so many secrets already in the game. So what okay. are we putting in the game that is, you know, it's not gonna. It's gonna draw me back into it. Mm -hmm. Um. Especially because there's elements that I feel, and I'm, I'm, again, this is my knock on wood that modders did and they did it correctly okay. and i feel like they might have picked up on what they did correctly and maybe they might integrate some little things like the cops might turn and change like uh Damn. the way the cars we might get the flying cars gotta get you know? that gotta get that every every video i see with people talking about it and showing mod videos they always flying a damn car and i'm just like what for, for a while i remember when i first saw it i wrote you i said kirk man uh how do you can you do this in the new on the playstation 5 and i just can't do it he's like nah that's mine i'm like oh my gosh oh yeah, my gosh uh i want to see i want to see if they up the uh the skill tree i want to see like yeah. there's certain i want to i'm kind of curious about yeah and i I don't know. Like, I don't want to. That's what the knock on wood. They it's got your hype. And, I, and, they, and they took it directions to people. I mean, everybody knew that they were going to expand Pacifica, if you know the map and the areas. But when they mentioned a specific area and said Dogtown, I said, oh, snap. It's, it's, it's like, that's when I got excited because now you're not even saying something I'm used to hearing. It's a whole nother territory. And it's, yeah, it's maybe part of Pacifica. Are we, but Are we going to be able to go to the space shuttle finally because it was dude, closed off? Right. I, bro, I got, you talk about the funniest day. I got in the water and tried to swim to the space station and there's no and there's and there's no ladders there's no ladders around that that thing so I'm just stuck in the water and I had to just cut the game off and, and go back to my last save where I yep. was on the street or something because I could not get out the way and it it was foggy it started raining I went through like three seasons and I'm just swimming my ass off and couldn't get out the water. Stuck. I tried it too I, I tried it too because I was like maybe 
because I got the jumpy legs. Like maybe I could jump up. Oh yeah, I love. Yeah, I got the legs. I gotta have the legs. The part where that I don't, I don't even know what it was, but we can all guess it was. You know, somebody military with one of those suits, like what you would always find when you encounter the cyber psychos that were military with them heavy. Like that gun is like a laser that's so big and cut the room in half, and he ripped yeah. it across the foot. Man, I said, "Oh my gosh, this game!" They know how to do. was the boss. I don't, I don't know. He can't. I don't think he should be the ultimate boss because oh, I, I doubt I, it. I doubt. I think oh, they just they just knew yeah. it looked hard enough to get us excited. You know, it was definitely badass. So as soon as I saw it, I said, "Oh hell yeah!" But oh, you know. First yeah. thing I thought was I'm gonna sneak up behind him and just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a stealth character after, now. After all of that, <laughs> yeah, I don't bother with him. Like, press the button, turn off, his, turn off his suit. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> if you don't play the game, you're not laughing with us. But if you start playing, you will understand. Just <laughs> oh, <man. Accidentally> but, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see which one of these wires. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you still won't see me. That's it. I, yo, I'm telling you, I built such a plan. You one day go watch my channel. Like you gonna see me? Like, does anybody see you? I'm just walking by. Like, I still, I steal cars like that. I go into the old warehouses. Uh -huh. I go into the back and I steal a car and just drive out. They'd be like, <laughs> they'd be like, be stealthy. And I'm like, I will. I did. Oh, <laughs> no, I know. When we first started talking about, it, you told me that's how you were building your character. I was more of just like, I, I'm like Jason and Freddy, man. I'm like the horror show, like. I love the blades. I love the guns too. The sniping. I love sniping. Yo, I got bored with sniping. I, I used to do nothing but sniping. Then I got into pretty much rifles mostly. And then I said, you know, I'm tired of sniping because the only problem with sniping is you mess around and get 20 folk. You're going to get about five of them, but the rest of them are going to be tagging you the whole time. You, yeah, you, you got to reload. You gotta yeah. So I started doing more of what you do. I got more into the whole hacking thing and I blow people's brains and Friday systems and all that stuff. Yeah. And then I go in while they stun with a blade and I'm going to work. Like I got a machete. Like the <laughs> battle. But yeah, same, dude, same thing. You that like. giant saw, that big machete. The one that makes us oh, out. <laughs> yeah, I got the legendary one. I, fa I found him. I found a legendary I think, machete. I think that's the one I got. It was like 800 and something damage. Like, yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah, the, the legendary machete. So, there's the legendary <laughs> machetes. And um, I started working on... It's funny, because I remember you told me about the Gorilla Fist. I got to oh, work man, that. I love them. I love them. That's, that's when I Ooh. really want to go hard. When I just go in... If there's a big group, drop a grenade and whoever's left standing, I'm just boxing and taking everybody yeah, out. You can build up your stuff. That's another thing I like. I can, I'm still building up so much stuff. Like yeah. if I'm running, my athletics go up. If I punch somebody, my, my sprawler goes up. I, right. It's right. Just, it's just, I find it's, that. It's addictive, man. That's why I love this game. It's like when you realize all the different ways you can do the same thing, but make it fun and creative and I mean, it's, you basically become a stunt coordinator in an action film. Like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm bored with all the punching. Maybe this time I'll slide in, blade them, throw a grenade, and then mono wire them. You know, it's like you're trying yeah. to you're trying yeah, to top you get yourself. So good at it. Yeah. Well, the pistols too. Oh man! And oh. I found out you can set things on fire, and then you got the ricochet with like there's stuff like that. Like, yeah. I'd be like, I'm not aiming at him. Just hit right. the ball. Ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs> Who's falling in the next street? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'll be with y'all like, soon. It's a little <laughs> things. It's not even like the mind blowing things your character does. It's how the game physics work. It's just like, it's when just, it's when it's working, it's amazing. <laughs> when it's working, it, like there's things you don't yeah. even know about. Like, right. Yeah. I just hope that with all the excitement and after you literally had a rebirth thanks to Edge Runners, the anime. Let's just hope there are absolutely no glitches in this one. They're making Let's a just, sequel. Yeah, not a sequel. Let's talk, man. They talking about a whole new studio. I mean, of course, we know the main studio for CD Projekt Red is in Poland, but they're doing one in in California. You heard about I that? I would right? appreciate it more um, because they're going to use the Unreal Engine and not the the, the Red Engine, which is uh, project that's theirs. That's theirs. And they're going to okay. test it on. Um, they're going to test it on Witcher Four. So I the heard. Witcher 4 is gonna come Witcher's out their, that's their that's their flagship. They're gonna always yeah. start with Witcher. So they're not gonna screw it up. I don't think that's smart. That's so, smart. That's responsible, that's and that's gonna keep people faithful. Because after all the heartbreak we went through, man, you can't have. I mean, you literally have a rebirth, you know, a second wind of life here. Don't ruin it, man. We, if you do everything else right from here on, you're gonna have fandom from now I on. All they can do is write from here on. People they got be like, to. Oh, messed up. I'm like, no, I think they realized <laughs> when the actual stock market started affecting them, they were yeah. like, 
Nah, yeah. we got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you done shut down all kind of stuff and had a rebirth. It's time to get it all the way right. Yeah, so I, what, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I really think too. I tell people all the time. I say, you know, from an actor standpoint, I'm just looking forward to. I know they're going to. They said they want to do film. They announced that in some of the new, new, new reports that everybody's talked about. And I'm, and, and of course, this is people translating from Polish. So I remember somebody said they used the word film. So I'm assuming even in Polish, they didn't mean a series. They mean a, you know, an actual movie. Bruh, that's all I need. I mean, there's a few things on my bucket list and Cyberpunk got added to it. Of course, Star Trek, Star Wars, forever being the generation I came from. But bruh, if I could be in Cyberpunk, oh my gosh. I would, if they made a movie, it would be, uh, be a hard one. I would have to do it. They would have to get the best of the best when it comes to not movies, yeah. but like board games, mm-hmm. uh, the actual world and aesthetic, because mm-hmm. nobody got to hold it. It would be an accidental Blade Runner, and I don't want that. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that. I, I truly think, this is my opinion, but I truly think that after Edge Runner, because it set a standard for no we're gonna do an anime but it's gonna look just like the game you fell in love with and knowing that's what made it win all over again and gave it that rebirth they are not gonna mess that up with a live action i actually but i go to you know being a visual artist i literally see the scenes like when i play the game i can see this translated from being on movie sets i'm talking about experience of being on on i've seen how they build this stuff so i know there's nothing they can't do I'm telling you, oh, I believe it, it would look I believe just they like do it correctly, it. though. That's what I'm saying. They, it would look you're right like if it. they do it correct. That's all yeah. I'm worried about. Yeah, like, nah, I mean, it's it's a simple and plain. If you did, if the trailer came out and we had to guess that this was supposed to be Cyberpunk, if we look at it like, oh, this is supposed to be Cyberpunk? Oh, they're done. They just fried themselves. But if in the first scene, you see the bright colors, it looks like Night City, the shapes of things look like they're supposed to, the vehicle roll by, you see where them doggone six-wheel V, them cars, the big ones I love, mm-hmm. or the bikes look, I mean, you, that right there alone, folks would be like, here's my money right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know why that was so there's only two people I can think of that could like not think of, but the, are made to do that. <laughs> like make that movie. Okay. And uh what is his name? Hero Marai. Uh God. He does Atlanta, but he also did a couple oh, episodes. Oh, the new season uh, of Atlanta, the last one. He did that, you talking well, about. Well he did Or did he do uh, previous seasons? I know he did the last one. Yeah, um he would be really good at it. And, that would, um, that's an odd pick, but I feel you. I understand what you're saying. I yeah. feel like somebody who actually understands the, uh, not the action. The world is there. We got that part. But the thing that also makes cyberpunk, even the Eddie Runner show, is is the surrealism. <laughs> like sometimes surrealism. you're not yeah. gonna really gain anything from it, and sometimes uh-huh. you will. Uh huh. And, and to understand that balance is how I feel like the game and the world exist. I feel you, you on know, like, Who is the other? Dude? You yeah. got me hype. Who's the other director you thinking could do it? Uh, it, it again, it's second, but I think Jordan Jordan Peele. That's a hell I of a... See, the only problem... I mean, I ain't gonna say problem because I don't know if he... I would say this. It would only be a problem if either one of them have never played it because even... Now, the first pick, I don't think it would matter for him. He's just that deep. I saw that with it, man. Yeah. He, he Just give him a, a month with the game and he'd get it right. Yeah, he'll figure with, out the. With yeah. Peel, he's so particular about horror in particular, and and sending messages in the way that Spike Lee did, where the movie's about one thing and everybody goes in thinking it's just about that one thing, but here's ten other things to think about, which I love. Some people can't deal with that, but I love that. That's that's how yeah. I work. That's how I write. I do the same thing when I'm writing, yeah. you know, as a writer. Yeah, concrete thought process. Yeah, right. I love I love that, but I just know that if you don't play this, this ain't what you know. A lot of actors, a lot of producers, a lot of writers. Again, speaking from experience, y'all, if you're new to the content, go back and look me up and what I do. I'm SAG eligible. I ain't just talking it. I walk it. About to have my 10-year tenure in 2023, for real. It's about to be a decade of doing this damn thing on the Hollywood level in Atlanta and independent, which I'm most proud of. But man, when I tell you, you have to have you have to have people who play because I nothing irks me more than you know it's almost it became a trend I think all our life we've looked at actors say you know they say have you ever read comics yeah I did when I was a kid so you weren't familiar with this character no I really just had to do my research okay you see the difference though when you get that actor who's like no I love this (laughs) like I've been reading this character in my life you see the difference yeah Yeah, that's kind of why I said Jordan Peele um because of how big of a fan he is of Akira and he actually did that 
Um, you can see, you saw it in um, the last. Oh video. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. What, I think you said that last time we talked, and you were talking about the bike, and I didn't know what you mean until I saw it. And I laughed. Yeah. I, said, I see it. I he, see he it. Get, he gets the level of deepness, like you yeah. said. Um, yeah. Not everybody's built for that, but I think also like it being a board game, not just a video game. Uh huh. You know, I could see him molding it into because it it can be hard easily. But you know, <laughs> and off the top of my head, I don't remember who the director was or the producers and everything, but I just remember the film. But I'm gonna tell you what I started watching. I, I literally skipped forward to my favorite parts just the other night watching this again. But Battle Angel Alita. Oh, Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. He, he, him and uh, James Cameron also part of it. I think he executive produced. So yes. it was Rodriguez. <laughs> you, you talk. You talking about? You, so are we talking about um, Desperado? Yes, uh, Dr. Oh. Dawn. Yeah, D that dude. That's Cyberpunk. I mean, not oh. only is that movie Cyberpunk, but I'm saying if you gave him that after he did a leader, all you got to do is have the right people for the look and I, make sure I, it I looks like, like the yeah, you're right. He would murk that shit. I think <laughs> if he had somebody like James Cameron, like he did with Alita. Um, oh yeah. my gosh! But I also realized that James Cameron, he, you know, he originally wrote it. He was trying to get it in '91, mm. and uh, he couldn't get it. And okay. that's how Robert Rodriguez came aboard, and they, I think he pretty much penned the script. But Robert Rodriguez, I think he would understand the material. Yes, and he would do it. He would actually, I think he would do a hell of a job. He would dive the hell in. The thing yes. about Robert Rodriguez, though, is sometimes he crosses the Quentin Tarantino line. Where he goes overboard, and I'm like, you know, see, Alita was perfect. Yes, this is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like they kind of pulled him back, though. I but, feel like I know what you mean from his like, usual. What, like, did you take the yeah. today? Okay, we're gonna make the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> like that level. Yeah, so yeah, I agree. I agree. He would be great for it if he was able to peel back yeah, a little bit. I feel what um, you're saying. Like, don't try and make this. That's the dawn. It ain't gonna be, you know. But here's the funny thing, though. For, for cyberpunk, not a leader, yeah, I think it would, I the think blood and gore do. and craziness would, would actually work. Like, you know, they would have to really be really trying not to get an X rating for damn cyberpunk. <laughs> Let's just be honest. He did, do, uh, he did Sin City 2, I think. See what I'm saying? Yeah, he'll be he'll be good on the level <laughs> of that. But he would kill it, bro. Because Alita is woo, Alita's a tough one. It's, it's so Alita's good. A tough one to pull off. If, if, if he... I feel like if he didn't have that backing, it was an easy left because he cut some people in half. Like it was some interesting fight yeah. scenes. It was, oh, that movie's great. Yeah, but I'm like, he would, he would have to like, it would have to be very, 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 <laughs> like it have to make very. <laughs> yes, because there's there's parts in the game where you're just slicing somebody in half. And you're kind of like just keep it moving. Right, right. Um, but that's cyberpunk. You know, that's how it is. That's what I'm saying. With the the comic, or not the comic, the cart, the uh, anime. When yeah. they did it, it uh -huh. was visually stunning, and it took away it, it took away all the actual idea of gore sometimes. But Which then, I appreciate because uh, I don't need gore as much. I'm not into gore. Yeah. I'm into action. I'm into style. Well, you know, I'm, I'm like Kendrick said. I'm gonna make it look sexy. <laughs> Kendrick that's, that's, said, that's, make it look sexy, David. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's where the appeal of Robert uh, Robert Rodriguez comes in because yes. he will take that part and do a correct thing with it, gory yes. wise. Yes. But in the in the world that it existed, is he gonna be able to bring out? the idea of the existence like why it's very desensitized in this world what is their mindsets like and this that, is why go ahead i'm sorry <laughs> no that's the, that's the aesthetic to me in the game like if you're gonna fight you're a merc you you have no food you have no like and then also use that mindset of these these machine parts are in me so i'm partially human but i'm mm -hmm. partially off the wall mm -hmm. and when he but did alita I, I felt it part i felt parts of it but only with the leader only, and it was yeah. like only yeah. with her. Everybody else was her. killing them. I was like, I kind of don't care. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. In the I know exactly what you mean about everybody around you. Like, I know exactly so, what you mean. It it, it, yeah, it did have that part of it. But I was saying he would that, have the one part. I need both. He's we good, need both. I, we need both. <laughs> that's a great thing. I'm on my stuff, bro. Don't let me go in. We gonna go hard. That's a good <laughs> thing. That's a yeah, great fam. Thing. I, I know how to do this. Trust me. I I, I, I am a producer too. I just all I always, always say all I need is more people to be aware of what I'm doing and the right team and you gonna understand who I am. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you got it, bro. You already got the microphone and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, 
when I tell you, like, what, what you said is important. You said, you know, you got to have, it ain't just about the kill. It ain't just about the cool violence. It's about the reason why this character has reached this point that you would modify your body and become a, a living, walking terror and all this other stuff. But for what reasons? So only in the anime, even, not even so much in the game. We know this from playing the game. There's only a few missions where you get to be introspective on what you're doing in the game it doesn't you don't even know much about yourself right yeah, but only in the anime did they go there like i said what was so impressive was the story of why my man goes off because of his mom when they went in there i said this is a story i love it this and, it, and i felt it on a personal level from just the stress of him like you know when they're talking about you know your health care or oh, you ain't got enough to pay for this and well we just gonna have to what like you know yep. <laughs> And your school done dropped you because of this. That yep. you being bullied at the school, but ain't nobody defending you. And I was like, bro, they went in. Rock they went bottom. in. <laughs> Real Rock. storytelling, man. Real storytelling. Yeah. Yes. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the other part I would like to say, man, is just seeing Idris Elba. People gotta understand. You know, a lot of people do understand if you're a serious movie buff, but when you work in the biz, what I've learned these types of moves do set things up for the future so i was telling a friend another friend the other day i said man look it's just elba being in this already got keanu reeves they're literally building a cast for what's going to be the live action because for when i saw keanu come back now he did the first time fine but when they did the expansion and everybody was wondering is johnny silverhand come back but when you see him in the trailer i said oh this is official this is just like neo or john wick this is one of his top characters that will be yeah. forever keanu you know so Another Johnny. dude it's the truth it's like this is perfect for setting up a cast and i'm just excited to know that that's gonna happen i cannot say that enough man and and to be in atlanta where i know everything is getting made i'm telling you it's soon i don't know who i'm gonna have to talk to but i'm gonna be on that movie damn it and i'm gonna be speaking i'm telling i'm talking it into reality i want it i want it so bad i want it so bad bro i'm, I'm, I'm yeah i would yeah. love to see that I, even if there's so many ways they can go about this. <laughs> they they got it. yo, so many ways to that. Which, by the way, congratulations to Christopher Judge for uh, Kratos. He won the award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he won the award for best performance in, in God of War. Man, that was amazing. Did you see his acceptance speech? Is Al Pacino. Really? I saw it all Al Pacino that brought him. I mean, that was <laughs> that was dope. I was like, this is dope. This is dope. And, and it was funny because he said, yo, I met Al Pacino. Like, it was the first time he had met him. So he, he's just like, this is crazy. I'm getting the award from this legend. And, and now people respecting me as a legend. It's like, damn right. You are, brother. That was, yeah, as he should have got it. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Long over, dude. He should have got that with the first one, you know. Sheesh. Right. You know? You've been through a lot. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's, it's certain people that you never noticed they're around. They've been around for years. Oh, I always, so, yeah. Since Stargate, I really knew about him, but even a little bit before then, I knew about him, knew of him. Yeah, but he's such a character actor, most people don't, even if you see him, you don't really notice. Right, because he's blending in and looking different every time. Yep, yep, yeah, it happens. Right. Around the hype of that, like I say, an old trailer, but Pragmata with the astronaut suit dude with the with the faceless, you know, hot oh, yeah. I, I don't know what really that's about though. It looks cool. I, All I, I needed to know. see was that that astronaut suit with that mask, man. I was I was like, what is this? I like it. What is it? <laughs> it's just like I, this I, is, I yeah. gotta see. I don't know if that's coming out next. I don't know. It might be next. Year. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. I gotta look because I haven't heard too much about it. Mm -hmm. which is and it's vague on purpose. It's I, I saw I like one. That. I like yeah, that. I, I saw one thing it. about it where it's almost like whoever the, I forget the name of the, uh, the guy who's considered a legend who made it with some other games he made, but they say he's known to do really obscure oh, trailers. Um, 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 Hideo Kojima. Thank you. I knew it was Japanese. I, I wasn't even going to try if I couldn't remember the syllable. Uh, he did Metal Gear Solid. Um, there we go. That's my point. Death Strand. He's, he's done a lot. He's he's known for that, though. And that's the that's yeah. why I also... He's good. It's just that he's really good. Everything you get from him is going to be good quality, best of the best. Okay. But not all the stories are going to be made with you in mind. Let's put it that way. So like, Don't work for everybody, not, right? Yeah. Yeah. Death Stranding, to me, is a walking simulator. And it is. It's a walking simulator. You just walk around, but you gotta learn how to set stuff up and things like that, which is cool. Which game? But after a while, which, which game? You said Death Stranding. 
Death Strader. Um, Norman Reedus is in it. Uh, who else is in it? Mads Mickelson is in it. There's a bunch of famous people in the game. But it's him walking around in a suit carrying a baby. That's another part where I don't want to give that away. If anybody wants to play it, it's, it's worth a try. I will give it that. It's That's what he does. Okay. But it And does he always have always... a theme of involving, you know, almost like we were just talking about Kratos, like somebody's the adult and then there's a child involved? Because even in this, there's this little girl that's with the well, astronaut. Well, no, there was an actual baby. Like he had a baby strapped to his chest. It was like an <laughs> infant inside the, the womb still being fertilized type thing. Oh, wow. Weird. Wow. Yeah, it was Wait a minute. Yeah. In, in the womb, but it's a man that's carrying the baby? Yeah. 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 What about this? Other, you said there's something else coming out that you're looking forward to. So you got uh, Zelda um, Breath of the Wild 2, because um, mm -hmm. I play Switch. Okay. That's really interesting, because I, I play, you know, I play Pokemon, Zelda. I'm not a Mario fan, but I play Mario. Switch is the I'm hand. Not, Switch is the hand. Yeah. Hand so, yeah. I, don't have to go, yeah I have so many. But uh, Sonic came out this year, so Sonic Frontiers came out this year, so I feel like Zelda, they're going to push it to another level, because a lot of games have been let's just say piggybacking off of what it looks like, Genshin uh -huh. Impact, Sonic uh -huh. the Hedgehog. It's like taking that idea. So I want to yeah. see what they're going to do and if they're going to take that idea and just revamp it or if they're going to go a whole nother level because they're like, too many people have taken this idea. We can't repeat it. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to that. And a game that I didn't think was coming out until next year, it came out last week. It was uh, Need for Speed, um, the new Need for Speed. Okay. okay. It's only on only on next gen. Um, so I was you just reminded me of something else I'm gonna mention, but go ahead. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, I started playing it, but I thought it was coming out next year. It's okay. really interesting. I haven't had a racing game in a while. I haven't played a real racing game on the next gen system, so it, it feels good. It's probably like I had Forza. People play Forza. Mm -hmm. Glad people like it. I, I try so much, I just can't get into it. It's something about the game that when I play it, it's fun for like a minute, and I'm done with it. I guess games, that breaks my heart with games. It, it, games, the problem with games, it's different from you know comic books. Or Even comic books have gotten more expensive than they should be. But games is damn expensive. So if I don't like a game, it's like, hey, 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 I can't get ten of these to replace the one that I didn't like. <laughs> I gotta wait a minute before I can re up and get yeah. the money right. You know, like stupid stuff. I want an arcade shooter. I want an arcade sports game. I want an arcade racing game. Nothing. Not everything has to be completely real simulation. That's I feel why. you. I feel you. That was pretty cool. So shouts out to that. I, I thought that was coming out next year, though. That's why we were talking about it. I was like, I'm going to be hyped for this game. And I was like, it just came out, though. <laughs> right. Right. But what you what jarred my memory is when you mentioned racing, I thought about Twisted Metal, the, the, movie, the series that's supposed to be coming with what Anthony Mackie. Well, I think it's still happening. Uh, I heard about it late, actually. and Oh, Anthony Mackie, I heard. Anthony of. Mackie is, is in it as a main character and executive producer, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, right. That's the part that got me. That's a man. Maggie is on some other stuff, man. I love it. And yeah. I mean, he's been killing it in general with a lot of the stuff he's been doing back to back. You know, the stuff he did for Netflix and stuff. But but man, when I, I, feel I heard. I like owes him anyway because he did some. Sure. I mean, they, they did the thing with Alter, Car Alter Carbon and they threw him right. in the second season. I like, and I'm like, yeah, it's cool you brought him in, but then you also kind of left him with the leftover material. Uh -huh. Like, it wasn't like that that banger like the first season was. It was like... Yeah. And what was the like, one where it was like military and he had the new recruit, the young black recruit that um, was like... You know oh, what I'm talking about, right? That was actually about, pretty good. I, that know, was, that was, uh, uh, was it? Oh, who was in that? You know what I'm talking about, though, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, and then you can add anything else you want to this, and we'll wrap it up with this. But, man, I'm just excited still, and I know I've said this before, but that's Suicide Squad versus JL. And did you see oh, the, that, the, the Batman trailer? trailer? Yeah. <laughs> Shouts out to Kevin Conroy. RIP, man. But, yeah, the Batman one. Dude. But Harley is Harley is my heart, man. Old girl be having me laughing so hard. I was not. It took a lot for me to laugh at anybody. You know, everybody's humor don't get me. You know what I mean? But every now and then, it's just universal silliness. And when her character in that damn trailer turned around and almost punched the damn stand up of Batman, the cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, "Hey, me, buddy!" And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Have you like, watched the show? Which which one? What you talking about? Harley Quinn, the show. The HBO. animated. Yeah. No, when did this come out? It's it's three seasons already. It's been out for three seasons. Are you talking about it's the animated? 
You yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, that's what, I, 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 I ain't missed nothing that was live action now. I've seen all the no, no, no. Well, they got the, the, the movies, the three movies. I think she said she'll do one more. But yeah, yeah the, the, the cartoon is wow. <laughs> it is word. I, I haven't, nah, I ain't got around to that one. But I admit there's certain, just the look of certain modern animations just don't work for me. It doesn't draw me in yeah. like stuff well, you yeah. I think they did this on purpose. It looks like an old Hanna Barbera like style cartoon a little bit to me. Like okay. uh, the, uh, uh, what's those shows? Like those old Batman or old Superman shows? Because I think like you'll see it. I don't want to give too much away. But those sure. characters kind of in it, like okay. so without just completely changing the aesthetic of how you were used to seeing them from the '90s. They okay. were able. To, that's why it looks a little bit more like that. So yeah. I, it's Warner Brothers. I felt like the Hanna Barbera. Like cartoony style. Who, who was it made for? Was it really for adults? It's, for adults. Was it... it's completely adults. It's the okay. first word out of the gate is an F word. Like oh. it's. A... <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know. I might get around to it. I mean, I admit, like I tell people all the time, like I used to be more into animation in general. Like it, this is why it meant so much for me for Cyberpunk Edge Runners to be so dope. Because I was like, if I'm not feeling this, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna just throw that damn remote at the TV. <laughs> You know, I needed but, a good yeah. year. That that wasn't another show just doing another season. I needed something new. Yeah, and that was that that caught me so off guard. Yeah, so off guard. It, yeah. I, I know you fell in love. You told me you said, "Man, I go to bed to this sometimes. I just like have it yeah. on." <laughs> like, sometimes I just want to listen to it. I it's like, like poetry sometimes the stuff they be saying. You be like, "Oh, that's cool. That's cool." It is. It is. I, I, they need to go on and bring it out on DVD because I would buy it like that because I don't even. People forget how like the difference in quality when you actually own it. Yes, like, I, need, I need that. You got a Blu-ray? I need, <laughs> I need the Blu-ray for real. I know they're gonna do it. it. It made too much money. They're gonna have to bring it out. 